Okay, the math club is baking pies for a bake sale. Um, hopefully they don't get uh, attacked by uh, public health or, I don't know. Can, can you do that? Can you make fruit pies as a math club and sell them? Do you have a license to do that? I don't know. Let's just pretend we're in the past. And it wasn't a big deal if the math club made fruit pies and, and sold them. Anyways, the fruit pie recipe calls for twice as many peaches as nectarines. Uh, if the ta if it takes a total of 168 pieces of fruit for all pies, how many nectarines are needed? Well, okay, that's interesting. Of course, the math club would come up with something like this. Um, so let's see, we've got peaches and nectarines. So I'm going to let uh, P be the number of peaches used. And then it shouldn't be a big surprise. I'm going to let N be the number of nectarines used. It's kind of nice, sweet, and a little tartness there. So the first thing it says is the fruit pie recipe calls for twice as many peaches as nectarines. Hmm. So in other words, the peaches, that's twice as many as the nectarines. Let me think of the so the fruit pie calls for twice as many peaches as nectarines. So if I need five nectarines, that would necessitate ten peaches, right? Ten, ten nectarines, would therefore it would require uh, 20 peaches. So you can see P, the number of peaches, is twice the number of nectarines is recording this correctly. And the other uh, equation is it's a total of 168 pieces of fruit for all the pies. So that's if I add the number of peaches plus the number of nectarines, it is 168. Well, this is a beautiful uh, a problem that will allow us to use substitution, right? Because if you look, uh, 2n is equivalent to the number of peaches. So I'm just going to replace that in the second equation. So I rewrite the second equation. And start of, instead of writing p, I'm going to write 2n, and then plus an additional n, and that has to equal 168. Therefore, 3n is 168. And let me try this. 168 divided by 3. The answer is 56. That's great. The answer is 56. So n equals 56. So we, oh, let's see, it says, how many nectarines are needed? That's perfect. I didn't end up getting that, right? n was the number of nectarines. You need 56 of the nectarines in order to complete this uh, impossible task of baking fruit pies for the math club.